the coffee cocktail, an old, old cocktail that we're just starting to see again. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, the, the coffee cocktail, the, the first time we actually see that in print is in Jerry Thomas's updated edition of his Bartender's Guide. Um, you've probably seen his, his very first edition from 1862, which included both cocktail or mixed drink recipes, which included some cocktail recipes. And the second half of the book was actually written by someone else, which included other stuff. This is the edition that just has his cocktail recipes. As a matter of fact, the cocktails are all pulled to the front of this book rather than being buried somewhere inside. And that just shows you by 1887 how popular cocktails were getting. And in the coffee cocktail, one of the things he says here, he says, uh, the name of this drink is a misnomer, as coffee and bitters are not to be found among the ingredients, but it looks like coffee when it has been properly concocted, and hence probably its name. Now, interesting there, he says, you know, it's called the coffee cocktail, and he mentions that neither coffee or bitters are included. And this just further exemplifies the fact that bitters, in this point in time, was still considered to be a constitute ingredient of anything called a cocktail. So now what we're going to do is just add some port, one and a half ounces of port. Any old port in a storm, I'm sure, would uh, work here. You want uh, something, not necessarily a fine port, uh, a ruby port, something that has a nice good color to it, and maybe some bright flavor to it. I wouldn't do anything too expensive. And then uh, one and a half ounces of brandy or cognac. Then we add about a uh, teaspoon of simple syrup. Then we add a couple dashes of bitters, using Angostura bitters, of course, aromatic style. And then one whole egg. Now you notice some, for shaking it, I'm using um, two metal shakers, metal tins, rather than the standard Boston shaker of a metal tin and a glass mixing glass. Uh, this is kind of to honor Jerry Thomas. Uh, where the Boston shaker started from, we're not quite sure exactly, but chances are it was from two metal tins they had that they were originally pouring back and forth on, and eventually they saw that they actually fit really well one inside the other, and this is probably the, the original Boston shaker. I'm going to shake it first all by itself just to froth up the egg a little bit more, since the egg froth is fairly important to this drink. Now I'm going to add the ice. And shake again to chill. Another nice thing about using the two middle metal tins like this, if you happen to have like a traveling kit, you don't have a pint glass that might get broken. So now we're going to strain this into a, uh, a wine glass. So what we end up with then is something that looks somewhat similar to a standard latte, kind of the brownish colored ingredient on the bottom and the foamy head on the top. And there we have the coffee cocktail. <laughs>